we cannot continue to live like this. this. People should not have to fear for their safety every single day, and it's not our police department's fault. Niagara Falls Councilman Bill Kennedy says crime will not control the cataract city. He is joining other community leaders and calling for action one day after a man robbed the landmark DeCamillo's Bakery on Pine Avenue. This surveillance video shows a man walking into the store around 1 p.m. yesterday and demanding the cashier, a 63-year-old woman, open the register. Police say he hit the woman on her side because she wasn't moving fast enough. She was not seriously hurt. Literally blow up with rage if I continue to talk about it. A few hours later, just down the street, another scare inside a business. Police say two men got into a confrontation over money in the Raymark convenience store. This is not the city I grew up in, and it's time to get our city back. Niagara Falls Police Department says they are starting a camera program that will set up surveillance cameras to capture entire streets. Police also say they are working with businesses directly to make sure retail areas are safe for shoppers. So we are going to try to shift some of our tourist money towards Pine Avenue as well as downtown to try to be more present. Hi, it's me, Todd. One of those business owners is Shamshir Singh. He owns the Indian General Store on Pine Avenue. He says he has been robbed four times in the last 12 years and now has a dog to feel safer. The key to stopping crime, he says, is more jobs. You know, he needs a job from Niagara Falls. He cannot uh, rob other people. Niagara Falls police say they expect to make an arrest in the DeCamillo's bakery robbery soon. In Niagara Falls, Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News. One man is facing